It's been a slow burn. State told us to prepare for recreational marijuana sales in mid-June, but now it's July. We haven't had any sales. Columbus Bureau reporter Morgan Trow has been covering cannabis policy in Ohio now for years. She's breaking down why shops haven't been able to sell and when we might see dispensaries fully open. Ohio marijuana dispensaries have been gearing up. Excited and ready to go. 110 dispensaries now have a provisional license to sell both medically and recreationally, but no sales have taken place yet, despite initial expectations they would be happening by now. Recreational licensed retailers in Ohio by mid June. The Ohio Cannabis Coalition's Tom Heron is staying positive despite the delayed start date. Rome wasn't built in a day. Uh, there is a lot of work that need, needed to get done. You haven't been able to buy weed because there's a process that takes place between getting a provisional license and getting a license with a certificate of operation. The state's cannabis division has a list of requirements shops need to meet, which includes keeping visitor logs, having curbside and drive through pickup, and utilizing surveillance systems. Dispensaries will also have to do a test sale to a medical patient and a recreational consumer. Going on a, a hiring blitz, of course, making sure that we're staffed up. The governor, Mike DeWine, wants more regulations. We have a problem of walking down the street and uh, with your five-year-old and there's the marijuana smoke. He's been asking for lawmakers to deal with his safety concerns for months and the state senate did propose changing the law to limit public smoking but their proposal would also decrease home grow, reduce THC levels and ban the vast majority of vapes. House Speaker Jason Stevens has been blocking it and dispensaries support him. Honoring the will of the voters is very important and you know, that part has uh, been done. You know, this was passed in November and it's still the law of the land. Even though sales didn't happen as hoped in June, Heron says cannabis control is still ahead of schedule. Technically, they have until September to issue the first batch of licenses. So we're very encouraged that we are, you know, a matter of weeks away from Ohioans being able to purchase legal, regulated, taxed, tested adult use marijuana products right here in the Buckeye State. It's likely there will be no changes to marijuana policy until the end of the year. At the Ohio State House, I'm Morgan Trow reporting. Okay, let's look at uh, locations where you can get marijuana as soon as those licenses are approved. Throughout the state, there are 110 dispensaries that have a provisional license, not a full license, and 36 of them are right here in Northeast Ohio. Here are the 11 locations in Cuyahoga County. That's uh, well, there's more in Cleveland, I guess. In Summit County, five locations waiting for approval, three in Akron, two in Cuyahoga Falls. In Lorraine County, there are four, two in Elyria, two in Lorraine. You cannot buy recreational marijuana at any of those locations, but they are likely to be the first places you can purchase marijuana for adult recreational use. We know that's a lot of information. <laughs> you can see the list of dispensaries. It's all on our uh, app and our website.